This is problem 4.21a from uh, Oppenheim and Wilski, and the task is to compute the Fourier transform of x of t, where it's equal to e to the minus alpha t, cosine omega naught t, u of t, and alpha is strictly greater than zero. So first I'm going to do it by the definition. So we have x of j omega is equal to the integral from minus infinity to infinity x of t e to the minus j omega t dt and plugging in for our x we have the integral again x turns on at zero so I'm just going to go ahead and start with that zero to infinity e to the minus alpha t cosine omega naught t e to the minus j omega t dt now, you might think that you have to do integration by parts here, but you do not because we're going to use Euler's formula on the cosine. And if we do that, we're going to end up with two terms, which is going to give us, I'll write this out, integral from 0 to infinity. I'm going to group the e to the minus alpha t and e to the minus j omega t together here. So we have e to the minus alpha plus j omega t, and then Euler's formula says it's one half e to the j omega naught t plus one half e to the minus j omega naught t dt. Now I'm going to have multiply this through. I'll have two integrals. So this is going to equal the integral from zero to infinity everything ends up in the exponent. You have e to the minus the one half out front alpha plus j omega minus j omega naught and this everybody has a t term so that has a t dt plus put the one half out front this time integral from zero to infinity of e to the minus alpha plus j omega plus j omega naught t dt. And again I factor the t out because when I integrate with respect to t, the first term, I have one half out front and the integral of this is minus one over alpha plus j. And here I'm going to combine the terms omega minus omega naught. That's going to be multiplied by e to the minus j, ah, excuse me, back up here, e to the minus alpha plus j omega minus j omega naught t evaluated from zero to infinity plus one half times minus one over alpha plus j omega plus omega naught e to the minus, move this over a little bit, there we go, alpha plus j omega plus j omega naught t evaluated from t equals zero to infinity. And moving back over this first term. When t is at infinity, you have e to the minus infinity which is zero. And then when t is 0, you have e to the 0, which is 1. So since it's minus e to the 0, the minus cancels this minus, and you have 1 over 2 times alpha plus j omega minus omega naught. And the second term has pretty much the same thing, except 2 plus j omega plus 
omega naught. And that's using the integral, and that wasn't too difficult. Now, let's go back and try and use the property, since now we know what the answer should look like. If we go back to the original problem, which was back up here, e to the minus e to the minus alpha t cosine omega naught t u of t. Again, I'm going to use Euler's formula to try and make it simpler. So let's go down. Just new, I'll write it down again here. We have x of t equals e to the minus alpha t cosine omega naught t whole thing times u of t. Well, I'm going to combine the e to the minus alpha t u of t e to the minus alpha t u of t, because that's in the tables. And I'm going to multiply that by the cosine, but I'm going to write the cosine using Euler. So that's going to be 1 half e to the j omega naught t plus 1 half e to the minus j omega naught t. And I'm going to distribute that. So I end up with e to the minus alpha t the one half out front here, u of t times e to the j omega naught t plus one half e to the minus alpha t u of t times e to the minus j omega naught t. All right, so now if we go back and we look at our table four point I should take that back. Yeah, well, first of all, 4.2, we have that the e to minus alpha t u of t has as its transform x of j omega. If it was just this, it would be 1 over j omega plus alpha with the 1 half out front. This term here, if you look at, this is multiplication by a complex exponential, it's also t it's called the frequency shifting property on table 4.1, and it says that if you have a positive exponent, which we do here, we replace omega with omega minus omega naught. So in this case, we'll have the 1 half, and I guess I said we had, originally it was going to be alpha plus j omega, j and it will replace omega with omega minus omega naught. And then the second term, it's exactly the same thing, 1 half, 1 over alpha. Now this time because there's a minus sign in the exponent, instead of being omega minus omega naught, it will be alpha plus j omega plus omega naught. And you know what, I just realized I wrote a 2 up here. This should have been an alpha. Sorry about that. All right, so you notice that up here, this term matches this term, and this term matches that. So both by doing the straight integration or by using the properties. Again, the property here was, you know, that, first of all, that e to the minus alpha t u of t transforms to 1 over alpha plus j omega, and then also we have the frequency shifting property. Shifting property. All right, so that's